Welcome to Electro Online. Now this integral is a little bit easier, especially when you realize that the cosine is the derivative of the sine. So what you can do here is you can let the sine of ax equals to u. So that means that du dx, take the derivative of that, is going to be equal to, well let's see here, the derivative of the sine is going to be the cosine. So this is going to be the cosine of ax times the derivative of the angle, which is going to be uh, a. So this simply becomes a times the cosine of ax. And if we then put the dx over here, we get du is equal to a times the cosine of ax times dx. So when we look at that, we look over here, we have the sine of ax that will be equal to u. And here we have the cosine of ax dx, but we're missing an a. So what we need to do is we're going to need to add an a. So let's rewrite this. So we have the integral of the sine of ax. Now we need to add an a, and I'll put it in red so you see that we're going to add an a. And of course, when we multiply this by an a, we also have to divide by an a, 1 over a. And then over here we have the cosine of ax dx. And so now you can see that here we have this portion is the u and this portion here is the du. So this integral now turns to, out to be 1 over a times the integral of u times du, which of course is really easy to integrate. So this becomes 1 over a times u squared over 2 plus a constant of integration. And all we have to do is replace what u is equal to which is the sine of ax, and of course it's going to be squared, put it over here, this is equal to 1 over 2a times the sine square of ax plus a constant of integration, and that's then the integral of the square root, or the integral of the sine of ax times the cosine of ax, and that's how it's done.